A note from Editing Millie. The video you're about to see is not super exciting, so why am I posting it? Because usually when I vlog, you get to see the exciting parts of my life. The book events and pitting milestones. But today, I just want to show you my normal life. A completely ordinary Monday. Because being an author isn't all that exciting stuff all the time. In fact, that's only a very small percentage of it. Most of the time, my days look like this. Completely and totally ordinary. Because the truth is, achieving your dreams isn't some glamorous act. It's the everyday moments, the little things, when you work hard and push through, that make your dreams come true. Hello world and good morning, Millie Florence here, and this is my day in the life vlog where you get to see what I do every day as a teen author. It's summer right now, so I don't have any schoolwork I'm doing. Otherwise, I usually do that in the mornings. Um, but I don't have any of that going on. And you know, we're also in the middle of a pandemic, so I don't have anywhere I'm going today or pretty much all days. So it's a great opportunity to be very productive, get a lot of writing done. And that's what I'm gonna do today. It is Monday. I have this super cute planner that I use and I love so much. It is from uh, Katie Daisy. So, uh, I need to clean my room. Well, no, I've already, I just cleaned my room before I started filming so that it looks nice when I, when I film. <laughs> um, so I can cross that off. I need to do some writing and some plotting. I need to schedule some social media posts. I have a bunch of emails I need to deal with. Hopefully I'll have time to do a workout and I want to do some baking. I think maybe I'll knock out some of the little things this morning so that I feel productive. That's one of the things I like to do. A lot of people say, you know, like start with the hardest thing, but I find that if I start with the hardest thing that I feel like I'm not getting anything done because it's just like one thing that takes me forever to cross my list and then I feel kind of discouraged. So instead I'm going to do a couple easy things which are answer my emails and schedule some social media posts. And then I'll feel more accomplished and then the list will seem shorter and I'll feel more motivated to do my writing and plotting and story work. So let's do that. I just finished with all my emails um, and it's already almost lunchtime because I had a lot like I don't normally have this many to take care of but I had a lot and one of them required some work outside of just answering the email so yeah it took a long time I also did a bit of social media upkeep but I still need to schedule that post it'll only take me a minute though because I already have it scheduled on Facebook I just need to snap a photo with it for Instagram so I'm gonna go do that real quick I also need more tea because I'm out and I need my tea. Ah. Yeah, I just knocked over the broom. El codo. Okay, so you just go over my elbow. El, el codo. Okay. What are you working on, Nene? You fill those in. Spanish, Spanish el espanol. <laughs> It was just like a huge crash of thunder and it looks like it might rain. It's like dark out. So I'm gonna get inside with my books before it ruins them. All right, lunch time. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I was gonna do some more writing. I just finished lunch. Um, and I did some other stuff that isn't like really work related so I didn't film it. Um, and I was gonna do some more writing. But it, actually my family is gonna go watch a movie. We're gonna watch The Hunger Games now. Um, because uh, my little brother just listened to the book and he wants to see the movie. We can't watch the movie tonight because he has soccer tonight. So we're gonna do it this afternoon. So I'm gonna do that and hang out with my family and then I'm gonna write later in the afternoon and evening. So, we finished watching the movie and it was fun uh, with my, you know, my brother's sarcastic commentary. Um, yeah, no, it was good. I hadn't seen it in, I think, like over a year. So it was really fun to see it again um, and good. Now it's like almost 5.30, so I don't really have time to do the things I was gonna do. So I wanted to work on my screenplay adaptation of Lydia Green, which I'm doing um, just for fun and to learn how to do a screenplay. Um, don't get too excited. <laughs> um, and also this other project, secret project that I can't really talk about yet. Um, but I don't think I really have time to do either of those because I only have like about half an hour until supper. So I think what I'm going to do instead is just work on a completely new story idea that I've had banging around in my head a little bit. Just for fun and it's not very productive but I mean writing is writing right so as you can tell I'm very excited about working on this <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna like throw my afternoon plan out the window and do that instead I mean you know this is you asked for a normal day in my life it's pretty normal for things to not go according to plan and that's okay so um yeah I'm gonna work on that story now of my day but I had supper and afterwards I did a bunch more writing and kind of got sucked into the story which was really great and now I am off to bed because I am very tired and it is 9 30 which is usually about the time I go to bed yeah, it's been a it's been a good day it didn't go exactly according to plan but not a ton of my days do so I feel like it's a good um representation of my normal life. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to go on more authorly adventures with me, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe if you enjoy them as well. That's all for now. Millie Florence, signing out. No, it's not always terribly exciting, and I wouldn't trade it for the world.